Hey everybody, Anne here, and I am out foraging in that spot. I found those other trumpet chanterelles, I think they're called. And I'm going to see if I can find some more. So, yeah, so I've got some clams I foraged from the river, and I will team them up with mushrooms some way if I can find some. So let's get to licking. Oh! <gasps> yeah? But those don't look like the trumpet ones. Hold up, Betty. What do those look like? I don't know. Let's see. I'm totally... I'm going to pick these. I don't know what they are. But... They don't have the ribbed insides. I don't know. There's a ton of these little ones. I mean, these look like oyster mushrooms. They do. So I'm going to pick... They're little ones. Get out of there, bug. Uh, yeah, they do. Oh, and there's a whole bunch of them. Oh, and here's another one of these. See? Whew, it's like yellow on the underside. I don't know, guys. Hmm. I don't think those are ones I can eat. Look at this. It's got a lot of bugs on it. But I think this is one of the... I don't know. i got to get that worm out. A couple worms. I think that this might just be either an oyster or a chanterelle. <laughs> I'll learn eventually. Let me get those worms out. Look at all these. I wonder what they are. Huh. Let's take a look at the underside of these babies. They are... It's just like they're solid. I don't know if I should pick these. Well, that looks like it might be one of the trumpet chanterelles. Yep. It's just a little one, though. God, there should be more. There were so many the last time. And I can definitely feel the, the center is hollow. Huh. I'm so disappointed. Alright, I see some interesting things. I don't even know if they're mushrooms. These little things. What are they? Should I touch them? Let me see. Yeah, they're mushrooms. They're teeny tiny mushrooms. I'm going to leave those alone and see if they all get any bigger and turn into something else, like a trumpet chanterelle, maybe. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at that. Looks like a super old something that I probably wouldn't want to eat. What do we have here? Let me just pick it and see. That's a pretty looking mushroom. God, I wish there were more of them. See, what the heck are these? There's a worm. I think these are like the little baby, baby ones, baby oyster mushrooms. I'm gonna leave those. Oh, look at this. Oh, I think, stay there, buddy. And see, there's a whole bunch of little tiny baby ones. And there's another one here. Let's pick this one. Oh, that's like rubber. Let's see what this one's all about. I'm going to pick it. And I'm going to keep it. It doesn't look like the trumpet mushrooms I was looking for. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm putting it in the bag. I think this is kind of where I found it before. And now I am beginning to see... <laughs> Look at this one. With all those worms in it. Oh my god. Whew. Okay. There's a cluster of young ones here. Whole bunch of them. Those worms are just terrible. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to let these grow. Ooh. Seriously, seriously folks, how am I supposed to 
want to have anything to do. Let's see, maybe this one's not so bad. My goodness. What? Oh my god, those are gorgeous. Let me see. Can I can I pick them? Alrighty. I, I don't want to break them all up, so hang tight. All off, and it looks like there's more growing or trying to grow up underneath of there. Oh my gosh, an absolute ton. Wow. I have never seen these before. Look at this. Oh my God, I cannot wait to find out what these are. Oh, please let them not be poisonous. Please, please, please. Whew. Gorgeous. Alrighty, I'm gonna put them in the bag and find out what they are. Okay, these are all the mushrooms that I found. These I think are the trumpet ones that I got the last time. And they look like this on the top, this on the bottom. Um, these stems are not hollow, but I think they get hollow as they mature. Uh, so yeah, I don't even know if they're worth cleaning up to eat just because they're kind of old and kind of rubbery. And then I found this one all by itself and it's got all those pretty gills underneath. And it's very soft, very delicate. Um, it smells like a moist oyster mushroom. These look like little mini oyster mushrooms. I found them in clusters growing on a tree. I assume they get bigger. And this one, look at that. Look at how cute that is. It's got gills on the underside. The color is kind of like these, but check these out. I don't know if you can see, let's see. Can you see what the underside looks like? There's no gills. It's kind of like little pores in there. And um, that's pretty much what all of these look like. Um, are these chanterelles or? No, because the chanterelles have the, have the little gills underneath. Um, so yeah, that's what those look like. Weird. And then, I did go ahead and collect this. It looked like somebody else had already picked it because there's like a little bit of mold growing on it. So no, I don't think I'll be eating it, even though these are fungus. And these looks real like these on the underside, like little pores underneath of it. So I'm not really even sure what that is, but it looks real similar to this, these beautiful ones. Oh. My goodness, look. I have no idea what these are, but they look really similar. And these look like they're not that old. Um, they look like they've been growing really, really nicely and they feel, they feel soft. They don't feel rubbery like this one does. Um, yellow on the underside, there's no gills. It's just like smooth. So, I don't know. I don't know. I am going to find out what each and every one of these are that I don't know. Um, I ended up going home with no mushrooms. Here's what happened. I was coming out of the forest area and I saw this guy in this clearing and he was playing disc golf with his pit bull and he had a tie-dyed shirt on, he had long hair and everything, kind of like a, a younger hippie sort of a dude. And um, so he pulls up a little while later while I'm sitting at the picnic table doing my, you know, looking over the mushrooms and whatnot. He says, excuse me, did you find a big orange and yellow mushroom out there? And I turn around and I said, yeah, yeah, I sure did. I got it. And he says, can I give you some money for, for one of them at least? Those are my fat dad's favorite mushroom. And apparently he had gone in to where I was looking. And remember how I said I thought that the mushrooms had already been like picked over and whatnot? Well, he had already been there foraging, and he took photos of this one huge, like, mushroom cluster. And um, he said his dad said that they were chicken of the forest or something? Chicken of the, chicken of the forest? I don't know. Um, and I was like, oh, that's his dad's favorite mushroom. You know, and I didn't think I was going to be cooking them up today anyhow, just because I didn't expect to find that big of mushroom and they were huge, bigger than both of my hands. Anyhow, I just gave him the whole bag of mushrooms that I had forward, 
uh, foraged for. Anyway, I had just given them the whole bag of mushrooms that I had just foraged and let him have them because he was just so excited and he said he was gonna, well, he was thinking of becoming a mushroom farmer and his dad's gonna be so happy and blah, blah, blah. And you know what I figured? Yeah, good karma. The world needs more of it. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.